Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're gonna have an amazing day. And today, the FNCS solos are coming up, and I'm gonna be telling you everything you need to know about them and tips and tricks to rank better and to actually qualify in FNCS. So, before I get to that, I wanna mention I do have a creator code. It's TechWidget, all lowercase. I would appreciate it if you could just type it in in the item shop. And let's get on to the video. First, let's start off with the point system. So there are a ton and a ton of placement points. And also you get four points per kill. So that's very, very important, guys. So you wanna make sure that you're taking good shots and make sure you're not missing anything. And you want to survive and not get third partied because most people die of third partying. If you do not know already, guys, most people die of third partying. And literally this whole tournament, you're gonna get the most points from placements if you're not the best player i know i'm not the best player and i know i can't really get that many kills in tournaments so i go for really placements so like surviving an extra minute or getting an extra placement point can be the difference of qualifying and not qualifying guys so you want to make sure you survive and you want to make sure you disengage because I don't think the other player wants to fight you, but then if you W key them and he gets the laser on you, he's going to end the fight. And if you laser the other kid, then you are going to have to finish the fight because you're going to like, of course, you're going to win it. So why not just finish it up? So most people die of third parting, and that's the biggest thing you want to make sure when there's around 25 people left do not take any fights even if you're certain you're going to win them like even uh, if you're certain that you're going to win them 100 percent, then i would probably take them but if it's around 25 i would not take any fights because people are going to probably w key you and third party you and let's get on to the other tips third tip is play scrims guys scrims are literally the best things to practice with because if you play arenas the end games are not gonna be at all like they are in fncs trust me on that one because the regular beginning game and uh, mid game are probably gonna be similar but end game no 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 fncs cash cups are way different than arenas some like if you gotta you gotta get like thirty thousand points to get one of those FNCS end games, but end games are way way better to practice with in scrims. So I would recommend to play scrims a lot. You can find scrims on YouTube, Twitch, and Discord. Um, scrims are basically like custom matchmaking, but they're sweaty custom matchmaking. So that's how scrims are practically are. And because you can't just watch this video and expect to get better all of a sudden. You have to take these tips, you have to take action, and you have to get into creative, you have to get into scrims. You have to practice all day. If you want to do something in FNCS, you have to practice. You can't just watch videos all day and just be good at the game. You're going to have to practice at the game nothing comes for free so you're going to have to practice at fortnite you're gonna have to get better so there's a, there's always things that you can improve off even like pro players if you think you're literally the best player i'm pretty sure you don't win every cash cup and everything so you can probably improve on a ton of things so another thing is if you an, a tip is if, to know if you practice a lot if you get nervous while you're playing that is a big big major no-no and you've not practiced enough you should not be nervous you should be confident because most of the skill that comes from fortnite is not mechanics is your mindset so you want to make sure you have a good mindset a fresh mind so do not tilt that is one of the major things as so many pro players lose on because they tilt they tilt guys that is one of the biggest things that pro players need to not even pro players even regular players like you and me we need to stop tilting tilting is one of the major reasons why most people don't play like competitive because it's so hard not to tilt but you just gotta have a fresh mindset and also most fights are going to end up in box fights so that's also a nice way to um 
get better at the game also i want to say something if you're playing with your friends all day long you're not gonna get any better because i know if you're gonna play all day long and you're watching this video how to get points in fncs you're probably a sweaty player and i don't think your friends might be too all sweaty so you might be just like it'd be way better than anyone that you play with so you're not learning anything at all if you like w key if you body someone all day for like three hours straight you're not learning anything so you want to play with people that are better than you if people are better than you you're gonna have to outplay them make better plays improve on mechanics so you want to play with people that are better than you because if you play with the same people that suck at the game uh and they're just doing it for fun I know you're probably not doing it for fun because you're watching this video so you're not gonna get any any better if you just keep on winning against people you got to you have to lose once in a while and you have to know why you lost and you have to get over your mistakes guys that's really all i have for this video i'll see you next time and i hope these tips help you out so peace out